The rotary converter is a type of electrical machine which acts as a mechanical rectifier or inverter. It was used to convert alternating current AC to direct current DC or DC to AC power before the advent of chemical or solid state power rectification. They were commonly used to provide DC power for commercial, industrial and railway electrification from an AC power source. The rotary converter can be thought of as a motor generator, where the two machines share a single rotating armature and set of field coils. The basic construction of the rotary converter consists of a DC generator dynamo with a set of slip rings tapped into its rotor windings at evenly spaced intervals. When a dynamo is spun the electric currents in its rotor windings alternate as it rotates in the magnetic field of the stationary field windings. This alternating current is rectified by means of a commutator which allows DC current to be extracted from the rotor. This principle is taken advantage of by energizing the same rotor windings with AC power which causes the machine to act as a synchronous AC motor. The rotation of the energized coils excites the stationary field windings producing part of the DC current. The other part is AC current from the slip rings which is directly rectified into DC by the commutator. This makes the rotary converter a hybrid dynamo and mechanical rectifier. When used in this way it is referred to as a synchronous rotary converter or simply a synchronous converter. The AC slip rings also allow the machine to act as an alternator. The device can be reversed and DC applied to the field and commutator windings to spin the machine and produce AC power. When operated as a DC to AC machine it is referred to as an inverted rotary converter. A typical use for an AC slash DC converter was for railway electrification, where utility power was supplied as alternating current but the trains were designed to work on direct current. Before the invention of mercury arc rectifiers and high power semiconductor conductor rectifiers, this conversion could only be accomplished using motor generators or rotary converters. Most machinery and appliances were operated by DC power at the turn of the century which was provided by rotary converter substations for residential commercial and industrial consumption. Rotary converters provided high current DC power for industrial electrochemical processes such as electroplating. Steel mills needed large amounts of on-site DC power for their main roll drive motors. Similarly, paper mills and printing presses required direct current to start and stop their motors in perfect synchronization to prevent hearing the sheet.